Hi yo everybody and welcome back to Imagine Your Odyssey. In this video we're going to go over a problem that we have with our RV. Where we hook up our city water connection and when the pressure builds up it's actually not only giving water to the camper itself but it's actually coming back through the water pump and getting into our first water tank. Now that's not supposed to happen. There's supposed to be a check in there so that either you use the fresh water tank pump or you use the city water connection. Somewhere in there the system has failed and not working correctly. So come with me as we go to find out what the problem is and what we're going to do to repair it. So hang in there and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. As we get ready to get started, there's a few things I gotta prep and get ready for. So you can see that I do not have the city water connection connected at the moment. Also, I've got a compartment in here full of stuff that I've gotta get out. Now the water pump itself is stuffed up behind this wall. So there's a partition in here that I've gotta take down in order to get to the water pump. Now I've done some research online and found that there's a couple of different things that you can do. You can either get a new water pump, which has a check valve built in that keeps the water from coming from the city side and or the pump side, which is the tank up underneath. It keeps it from being able to get one into the other. Now the other thing that you can do is actually take the pump apart, look for the check and see if there's any debris in there, clean that out and hopefully it'll work again. Now from what I've read so far, most of what people do is actually cut the water line where the pump is put a valve in and turn it off when they're not going to use the water tank inside the RV itself. By doing that, it prevents any water from getting to the tank and it also can prevent water from getting back to the other side of the camper where it's not supposed to be. Now in order to do that, we still got to go inside and investigate what's going on. Now it may be simple and it may not be, but most people recommend to go ahead and put the valves in there. A lot of your more expensive RVs today have what they call a water works or a panel that they open up a door and they look inside and they'll say, turn here for fresh water tank, turn here for city water, turn here to fill your fresh water tank. Those valves do incense the same thing. Now mine doesn't have any of those valves, so I may go ahead and just take that route and put the valves in so that I can select one or the other and that way it will prevent any issues going forward and I'll have to worry about this check valve and all that stuff. But we'll go ahead and get started on taking everything outside of here so that we can get inside and see what's going on and we'll determine what kind of path that we're going to take going forward. So come with me as we get all this unloaded, get inside, take down that panel and look to see what we have behind it. Now what I'm going to have to do is go in here and take this panel out. Behind the panel has a city water connection, has a water pump that goes to the fresh water tank, and all the hoses and the plugs and the wires and things like that to go to it. I have to get back there to know which way the hoses go in order to find the inlet, the outlet, and which hoses I want to put the valves on. So let's go ahead and take that panel down and see what we got behind it. Alright, now that we got the panel down, we can take a look and see how the hoses are arranged in order to understand better on which way and what path things take. So this little section back here is actually where the water hose from the city water connection goes to the feeds the rest of the camper. So the hose comes in right here, hits this T, comes into this hose, follows it around and goes into the camper right here which feeds in to the outside water spigot right here and to the rest of the camper by this way. Also, if you see, there's this little T that acts as a check valve right here. So when you use the pump, the water goes that direction, throws a check inside, allows the water to come through the hose this way, back through the camper, and then feed everything. Now if you're using the city water connection, the water connection will actually hit this T right here, 
be able to shove the check this way, allowing the water to come through this hose and do the same thing. So I think I've actually got a problem in this T that is a check valve. We'll take that apart real quick and take a look inside to see if there's any dirt or grime in there that could be causing the problem. Now as you can see, these connections right here, and these connections right here, and these type of connections here are threaded on connections. That's actually good news. So what we can do is that we can unthread these, take them to our local hardware store, find some fittings that will adapt this and this with a valve in the middle so that we can turn one or the other off. Turning one or the other off means that it will turn off the city water and use the fresh tank only, or we can turn off the fresh tank and use city water only. By doing that, we can actually eliminate the need for this check valve. Another good thing for putting the valve on this side and this side, which comes from the fresh water tank and or the city water tank, is that we're not gonna affect the pump or hurt the pump any at all. If you can see back here, there is a white hose right here. You can't really see it that well, but there is an actual filter back here that comes right here, it's this hose. That actually comes from the fresh water tank. Now the fresh water tank will come up, hit that filter, feed the pump, and feed the rest of the camper. Now if we put the valves on this side of the pump, we won't have to worry about burning up the pump because it will be able to pull water from the fresh water tank which will in turn keep the pump wet. That way it doesn't harm the pump. We'll know right away because we'll turn it on, it'll build pressure and stop, but we won't have any water inside the camper. And we would have known then that we didn't flip the valves correctly. So let's go ahead and take off this T right here, get the hoses out, check all the fittings, and check inside of the check valve to see if there's any trash or debris built in. Alright, now that we've got the hoses out of the camper and we can take a look at this T, it turns out that it's actually not a check valve. If you take a look inside of here, it's actually nothing more than just the T itself. So which means that check is actually built into the pump. Now due to limited time and stuff like that right now, I'm not going to pull the pump out and take a look at the check inside of it today. I'll do that another day. I wanted to add a valve into both of these anyway so that I could turn off either the fresh water side coming from the tank or I can turn off the city water side coming from outside of the camper. What I'm gonna actually do is try to go to the hardware store and get some valves and some fittings and that panel that we took off earlier, we'll attach the valves there, put a label underneath what it means and then we'll know which one we're turning on and which one we're turning off. So come with me as we take a trip to the hardware store to go find the parts and the pieces that we need. Now that we're done inside the hardware store, I got a valve like this. This valve is going to go in between the pump. So here will be the pump side and this side here will be the side that's coming from the fresh water tank. By valving this out, we'll not allow any water to get through the pump back into the fresh water tank. Now I know I said earlier in the video that I was going to put a valve here and a valve here. The reason for doing that in my thoughts earlier was that if I valved one out, when the fresh water side comes in, it'll be able to go and get to the camper and not back up through the pump itself and get into the fresh water tank. But after thinking on my way here, I was like, well, if I do that and valve one or the two out, then I'm going to actually valve out the camper itself and not prevent water from getting back through the pump and into the fresh water tank. So when I went in, initially what I wanted to do was to get a valve that would go right here and then be in between here and the pump itself. That way I could actually valve out the pump, still have water going to the camper from the city water connection, and not have to worry about it. And if I wanted to use the pump itself, I just open the valve, turn the pump on, and all is good. The problem I ran into is being able to find something that would adapt this 
and a pump and keep a valve in the middle. All I have to worry about from there on is to make sure that if I want to use the fresh water tank itself, I just have to go and switch this on, which will open up the valve, allow the water to come through, circle around the camper, and everything will be great. Come on with me as we head back to the camper. Let's go ahead and get this installed, get all this back together, put everything back together and talk about what we did today. All right, now that we got everything and all of our parts and all that stuff together, let's go ahead and get inside here, get it all put together, get this thing wrapped up, everything put away, and call it the night. All right, now that I'm back in the hole, I'm gonna take this valve, as you can see, turn it on, turn it, well, turn it on, and turn it off. So the idea is, we'll take this barbed end here and this barbed end here, and one side is going to go into this whole this ho side of the hose here of the pump. The other one's going to go on this side. I'll be able to shut off any excess of water going either to the tank or from the tank, getting to the pump that would pump to the RV. As we stated before, all I would have to do is actually take the valve and turn it on, kind of like it is right now. Water will come through, go to the pump, circulate back around into the RV, and do everything that we needed to do. Now if I take the valve itself and shut it off just like that, it'll prevent any water from coming to the tank, yes. But what it will also do is any city water that's coming in that's getting past that check valve will be blocked off and won't get into the actual fresh tank and start filling it up like we've had in the past. So let's go ahead, put this in and see how it works. As you can see, we got the valve in. It's all set in place. So this right here is where the water or the fresh water tank comes in and will feed the pump that would feed the rest of the RV. As we stated earlier in the video, we were talking about how when we hooked up our city water tank, or at least our city water hose, what would happen is it was coming in and going into this pump, bypassing the check valve, going through this hose, getting to the tank and overflowing our fresh water tank. Now we don't always want that to happen and we don't always use our fresh water tank. So by having this valve here, we're able to have it actually shut off. And if we flip it like that, that'll turn the tank access back on to the pump and we'll be good to go. So let's go ahead, wrap things up. Everything is done, let's turn that off. We'll get the panel back in and get the, all the stuff put back into the compartment and we're done. so we're all wrapped up for the night and the project actually went really well so to recap what we were trying to accomplish today was a faulty check valve in the water pump itself that pumps water from the fresh water tank to the camper i did do my research and i looked up the best ways to overcome this some people said to replace the pump clean out the check valve or put a valve in to prevent it from happening now i went with putting in a valve i know that this will take care of the problem no matter what the only downside is I'll have to go in there and flip the valve anytime I need a fresh water tank. Now for us, most of the time we are hooked to city water so we don't need the tank. Now I do use a tank when I do the winterizing methods and stuff like that. I can easily go in there, flip the valve, do my winterization, pump the antifreeze around, get things ready to go for the winter, and then flip the valve right back. And now that that valve is there, I'm able to go ahead and shut it off and turn it on as I need. I'll just have to remember to do that before I actually turn any of the pumps on so that I don't burn the pump up. Now I hope you got a lot out of the video and if any of these kind of things have happened to you, as like I said before, I did a lot of reading on the internet and some of the readings may have come from some of your channels. But if you've had some of these experiences in the past, share those down in the comments below with the rest of us so that we can learn from it. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, I'm going to bring the slide in, get the lights turned off, go in and get some dinner. 
So until the next time, keep it safe, have fun with your projects, keep close and share with the community, and God bless.